Hello folks and welcome to another Adventures of Scott Michelle. Today's adventure takes you to the Toy Train Barn Museum near Argyle, Wisconsin. So join us on another of our adventures. Okay, so folks, this is where we parked, like right here. And we sort of walked that way thinking that's how you get nope. in. But actually, you don't. You actually have to enter in over here. See, it says to train. So we're going to take you guys along with us to this nice train barn museum. Oh, this is so neat. And uh, the owner of the place just uh, told us that his wife makes these uh, things right over here out of clay. That is so cool. And we got like a hot air balloon up there. That is so cool. Back there, it's sort of cool. There's like two levels of trains. You can see a couple trains on the one level, and then there's also an L train up there, which is pretty cool. I see how they can time the uh, those two to go back and forth. Well, they don't collide next to each other. Probably. Cool. Yeah, that is really cool. And then the train yeah, that is so cool. Oh, look at they have like one of those gondolas like they do in uh, Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Yeah. So neat. Now there's a toggle on that faceboard right there. Oh! Yeah, there's a yellow train and a red train. You see that? Yeah, Ooh, that the is so train neat. Is twice as long as a red train. Wow. There's the yellow train. Oh, here you go. Look how long yeah. that is. Oh, wow. When the red train goes in that tunnel, you can see both ends of it. Yeah. Oh, look at up here. And the goes, goes away. Oh, look it up here, guys. And neck and neck right there now. Yeah. Yep. Oh, God. Wow. Ooh. And there's a button down below there for that coffee table. It's a little Z-scale train down there. Oh, now I see it. Oh, and then like right down here. Oh, wow. That is so cool. And that's a real miniature train. Yeah.
Oh wow, cool. Look at that folks, right at the end. It looks like a like a tornado. Yeah, this is so cool. Now this is a really neat place, guys. Oh wow, look at all the old train model trains like on the wall right there too. I can't just get, I can't get over this place. This place is like really neat. Very cool. This table, there's a lot going on here. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's like a mini um, race car. Table up and set up at nursing homes or uh, car shows or, or uh, some model rail. You can see the little steam coming out there. Yeah. This is really neat. Wow. Enjoy yeah. Old yeah. oh, episode Dick Van Dyke. Yeah. Boring movie. <laughs> 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 wow. Oh, pagoda. Yeah. Oh, Beetle Juice. What the hell is Beetle Juice? Oh, yeah. Let me give you a close. Oh, my God. Yeah, there we go. Beetle Juice right over there by the house. That is so cool, guys. Wow, this is like a really, really neat music, train museum. This is one I thought they were Oh, yeah. Wow, house on fire right over here, folks. Uh, 
Nice we have McDonald's over there in the background. That one's really cool. Got a nice greenhouse. And off in the distance over there is a guy swimming in a pool. And you got the guy waving the American flag. Oh wow, that is so neat. Oh wow, look at these cars. Now this would have been cool to have as a kid. Oh my god. It's a really old antique uh like electric car race so. yeah I just love this movie theater drive-in movie theater oh my god that is so neat We got this cool neon sign up here that says M&M. That is so cool. This is funny too. Mallard Appliance Company with a name like Duck. It has to be good. It had 60 feet turn left at the end scale. Oh, that's cool. And the Route 66 Motel. Love the little um, concert going on there. Over there. That's cool. Yeah, it looks like they're uh, yeah. a thing. Wow, I love how the the detail of everything. Wow, that's pretty neat. Oh wow, look at Mount Tomor. That is so cool. I'm going to get you up close. So this folks is made out of a lazy season. Isn't this amazing how he did this? Yeah, oh my season goes God. Over. Yeah, the Lazy Susan goes counterclockwise and trains going clockwise. Yeah, this is so neat. That's super neat. Well, folks, that's going to conclude it for our Toy Barn uh, Railway Museum. So, what did you think, Karen? Uh, it was great. It's probably one of the best layouts I've ever seen before. And we've seen a number of layouts in different states, different sit towns and stuff, but uh, nothing quite this good. It's uh, I was amazed at the amount of detail with, with a lot of these uh, different little buildings and all these different people moving mm -hmm. and stuff like that. It, it was probably the neatest train museum I've ever seen. Um, you know, it's great that we just sort of looked up train museums on our cell phone to find this place because otherwise we wouldn't even know that this uh, existed. Yeah, uh, so if you're ever, you know, anywhere you're like on vacation somewhere and you want to know what they have around your area, just Google it because that's what we basically did. And yeah, you wouldn't have never known about this place unless you Googled yeah, it. Yeah, it's only like about maybe 15 minutes west of Monroe, Wisconsin. It's about it's about good to have 35 minutes, 40 minutes southeast of Dodge, Wisconsin. And I think it's probably about maybe up to a half hour east of Platteville, Wisconsin. So what was your favorite parts of the Railroad Museum, huh? Uh, I, I, I guess just seeing all the different kinds of trains and stuff. Mine was seeing like the tornado with oh, the yeah. lightning effect. Oh my God, however he did that, that was incredible. 
And um, there was one part in the museum, I know when we first walk in, you see like a hot air balloon. He actually made those parts out of BCR. He made the majority of stuff there. So a lot of this stuff he made himself. Mm -hmm. And he said he's been doing this since he was five years old. I mean, if I were to rate this, I would give it a 10. Oh, yeah. By far. This is one of the best hidden gem, is hidden hidden gem. gems we've ever been to. And... Mm -hmm. I just want to say this guy is remarkable for what he's done. Oh, yeah. If you have kids, I would highly recommend you bring them here because they are going to absolutely love this place. Right. And um, um, we're just lucky that they're open here during a weekend in, in February. Like, uh, I think they yeah. have more hours available between Memorial Day and Labor Day weekend. Yeah. Between Memorial Day and Labor Day weekend, um, he does have like a train ride through here he's trying to get that going so i'm not too but sure they've had bad rainstorms here yeah and so, had trouble with that. right but it's only five bucks a person to see this museum so that was remarkable that that was, that was a great value for uh what you know what we got we were there for probably a good hour maybe even uh, up to an hour and a half uh yeah. it's just one it was, this was more than just like, uh, you know, a couple of train boards. It was multiple train boards with lots of uh, lots Yeah, of and you could press them. the little buttons to get the trains going and get the little things going. Mm -hmm. So that's going to do it for our vlog here of the Toy Barn um, Train Museum. So as always, if you like this vlog, give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, don't forget that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any more coming adventures of Scott Michelle. We really want to appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out our channel and it helps us grow. Thanks. Thank you guys.